Hello, how are you? Hi, hi. Hello, how are you? So, so are you? <clears throat> fine, fine. What about the rain in your house? Yes. ¿Cómo se dice bastante? It's most. A lot. A lot. There a is lot of rain. Yes. There is a lot of rain. Mm, yes, a lot of rain. Wow. Teacher, yo en ese momento todavía sigo trabajando para que me deje por un momento de, de oyente. Vaya, teacher. Gracias, teacher. Ok. Vamos a ver. <coughs> Eleventh today, Adriana Sofia. Analicia. Ana Grisel. David Alexander. Present teacher. Diego Batres. Edwin, Edwin Mauricio, Elda Cristina, present teacher, Elmer Fabricio, Elmer Elmer, Grace Michelle, Ivon Marcela, Jennifer Elizabeth, yeah. G eh, Jessica Lisette, José Alberto, present teacher, okay. Karen Janet. Carla Lorena, no, Carla Lorena, Lisette Dayanara. Present teacher. Okay. Nubia. Present teacher. Okay. Rebeca Marcela. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. ¿Cómo sigue el pie? El pie ahí mejorando, teacher, pero me enfermé del estómago y de vómito también. Ouch. Uh -huh. Así que le pido permiso de estar de oyente, teacher, solo por hoy, primero Dios. Ok, ok. Gracias. Bueno, entonces ni modo, a sentarse cerca del baño. Porque... <risa> Con solo que no sea en el momento que pasa lista, teacher. <risa> ahí me grita, presen desde allá. Va, está bien. <risa> Víctor Manuel. Victor, no Victor, <clears throat> Karen y Stephanie, no here, Karen, Adriana, Marcela. Present teacher, voy a estar de oyente la primera hora. Híjole, y es cuando voy a retomar el tema de ayer, Adriana. Ay, no, voy a tratar porque estoy terminando unas cosas. Va, ok. José Alfredo, José Alfredo. Present teacher. Vamos a ver si alguien entró después de que lo llamé. Adriana Sofía. No. Mi teacher. ¿Quién es mi? Jennifer. Oh. <ríe> ya llego por ahí, Jennifer. Voy repitiendo ahorita. Oye. <ríe> ¿Quién es mi? Analicia. No es Ana. Ana Grisel. Diego, Edwin Mauricio, Elmer Fabricio, Grace Michelle, 
Ivonne Marcela. Jennifer, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher, present. Perfecto. Y Jessica Lisset. Jessica, Jessica. Eh, Karen Janet. Carla Lorena. Víctor. Karen Stephanie. Ok, Batch. Los, des, los demás quizás me los ha atrapado la lluvia por allí. ¿Verdad? Bueno. Eh, we're going to make a review about yesterday's topic. Remember, I told you eh, when talking about subject verb agreement, there are many things to consider, right? So we are going to talk about uh, some other cases, right, to consider when, uh, vamos a ver. when talking about this topic. It's not only the, well, yesterday we were talking about the complex. Hmm? Okay, right. so so we're talking about, a, well, yesterday we were talking about complex subjects. Remember, and we said that a complex subject is one that takes a quantifier and something else, right? So we're going to be uh, talking a little bit about that, and we will also add uh, some other points uh, today. And then, we are going to talk about the vocabulary. Well, we have many things to do. Uh, let's hope we have enough time for everything, right? Okay. Well, hmm, move it. Aha. Okay, our conference number eight, it's vocabulary practice. But uh, the same, we are going to uh, be talking about. Uh, the review, we're going to make a review. A ver, here I have a mini quiz. Um, can you help me choose the correct answer for each of the sentences, please? <clears throat> Some members of the teachers union wants to go on a strike. Once or one? Once. Okay, Bye, check. Uh, remember, we say a number is singular if it is followed by a noun. Well, a number is used in plural if it is followed by a noun in plural, right? And in this case, vamos a ver, pensito. We have two things that tell us that this is plural. One is some and the other is yes, right? Some members of the teacher's union, the teacher's union is only one, but we are talking about some members. So members is plural and some in this case, we said yesterday that when we follow uh, when some is followed by an a, a uncountable noun, we use the singular. But if some is followed by a countable noun, uh, in plural, we use this one. And in this case, members is plural. So we're going to choose want. What about number two? Jane's raincoat with all the ribs and tears Provide or provides? Teacher. Provides. Provides. Hi. ¿Quién dijo teacher? David. Yo, David. Yes. Me, David. Este, ahí, en esa oración número uno, me confunde nuevamente, igual que ayer que estuvimos viendo el del quiz. ¿Qué le confunde? Eh, 
some members, debería decir como algunos miembros, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Of the teachers union. Uh -huh. ¿Por, qué, ¿Por qué se dice algunos miembros? Tiene que ser one, ahí me pierdo. Eh, algunos miembros. Uh -huh. Es one porque acuérdese que usamos el once cuando estamos hablando de la tercera persona, que si, si, si fuera solamente un miembro, entonces sí usaríamos once. Pero como estamos usando son, son es plural. Uh -huh. Los plural nouns ocupamos un plural verb. Acuérdese que con los verbos, esperen, me voy a acercar mi silla, porque no sé por qué estoy tan lejos. Con los, eh, con los verbos, recuerden que el verbo que tiene ese no está en plural, ¿verdad? El verbo, el verbo es lo contrario del noun. Cuando el noun tiene ese, está en plural, pero cuando el verbo tiene ese, está en singular, en la tercera persona del singular. Ajá. Exacto, entonces eh, yo creo que de tanto ver la, la S del noun se nos, se nos olvida que el, que el plural, ¿verdad? Acuérdense, el plural del verbo es este. Sí. Y el yes. plural del verbo es este, este singular. Uh -huh. Y para la sí. tercera persona, ¿verdad? Que en la tercera persona del singular le ponemos ese al verbo, she wants, she plays, she works. Pero, okay. usted mira el verbo sin S, el verbo sin S está en plural, pero el noun con S está en plural. Sí. Entonces, acuérdense que los plurales, cuando lleva así S, por ejemplo, brothers, boys, teachers, students, son nouns. Estos son nouns. Uh -huh. Entonces, al noun yo le pongo S y va a estar en plural. Pero si al verbo le pongo S, es porque estoy hablando de la tercera persona del singular. Ok. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. Gracias, teacher. Estamos confundidos, teacher. A ver, alguien por ahí me dijo, teacher, hace un ratito, ¿quién era? Sí, teacher, yo. Este, en este claro. caso, el verbo se ocupa como en el presente simple, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Exacto, exacto. Okay. Sí. Estas oraciones todas están en pre... Bueno, no todas, las cinco están en past. <coughs> Entonces ahí lo que ustedes tienen que hacer es el, el cambio del cassette, ¿verdad? Si le pongo S al verbo, está en singular. Pero si le pongo S al noun, S está en plural. ¿Sí? Yo, yo creo que por ahí es donde, donde nos viene la confusión, porque le vemos S al noun, está en plural, pero si le pongo S al verbo, sí, ¿no? ¿Verdad? Acuérdense de las terceras personas del singular, ¿verdad? Cuando decíamos, she wants, he takes, he goes, she moves. Entonces, esta es la tercera persona. La third person singular. Entonces, a la third person singular, yo le pongo S. ¿Verdad? Aquí, wants. Pero si yo estoy usando want, el, mi verbo está en plural, porque yo estoy hablando de un subject en plural o el subject en singular, que sería la primera o segunda persona del singular, ¿verdad? I want, you want, they want, pero he wants. Uh -huh. No sé si ya, ya nos acordamos ahí de esa parte. Así, <ríe> así, mejor. Sí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. ¿Alguien más dijo teacher también, aparte de Rosy? ¿Quién? ¿Quién, quién, quién? No, ¿ya estamos bien ahí? Así. Sí, teacher. ¿Sí o no? No, yo sigo moviendo la cabeza. ¿Mm? No los veo y no los oigo. Más o menos, Soso. 
Ok, so, so. Va, pero ahí traigo más explicación, así que don't worry, ok. Yo espero que al final del día, sí, of course, este tema es totalmente nuevo para ustedes, ¿verdad? Pero fíjense que es algo que ustedes vienen usando. La única diferencia es que hoy le, vamos, le estamos poniendo nombre. That's the only thing. Vaya, chequen. James Raincoat. James. Espera. Me voy a tomar una. Yo ya te estos días en que la terapia me dejó a dolorida. Va, vamos a ver. James Raincoat. Bye. James Rain, Green Coat with all the ribs and tears provide Provi or provides? provides provides ¿Por qué provides? O sea, si esa es la respuesta ¿Por qué? Per ah, person, per person. Exacto. James The coat is only Pica. one ¿Verdad? I'm talking only about the one coat Perfect. That's why it is provides little protection. What about number three? <clears throat> there. There is so there are a lot of trees on our block. Por qué there are? Of three, trees. Mm -hmm. Because of trees. Trees is plural. Si, if I said one tree, that would be there is. But as I have trees, it's plural. A ver, number four. Where are my keys? Where are my keys? Very good. Where are my keys? They are on your hands. <laughs> ya les ha pasado esto. Okay, vamos a ver. Number five. In the background. Eh, doble coma le puse. In the background, there. Was or where? Was, was a big Why was? Um, it's a singular, it's a... Um, I think it's because you're talking about uh, the big yellow sun. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the song only one, right? There is a... Oh, there was a big yellow sun. Very good. Now, oops. No, sir. We have a basic rule. When we manage this rule, right? And we say that a singular subject, she, Bill, the car, takes a singular verb, right? Singular subject, singular verb. See? Is, goes, shines. Whereas a plural subject, plural subject, takes plural verb, yeah? Singular subject, singular verb. Plural subject, plural verb. Pero ya saben ustedes, el, eh, ¿cómo diríamos? Ay, se me olvidó la palabra. Wow. But, eh, for example, if I have a singular subject, pero ese singular subject is, I or you, of course, the verb will be plural, ¿verdad? Because you say, I go, no, I goes. You go, no, you goes. Eso sí, ¿verdad? Lo tenemos bien claro. Yes. Mm -hmm. But if I say the cat, the dog, the pen, the teacher, the student, the boy, the girl, or I use the pronoun he or she or it, my verb will be singular. Okay, and we have an example here. The list of items is or are? Oh. The list of items is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The list of items is on the desk. If you know that list is the subject, and then you will choose 
which is the verb. So my subject is the list, right? So my so my uh, subject or my verb will be singular. Now we have some rules here. Vamos a mover esto. Check. We have some quantifiers. Remember yesterday we were mentioning quantifiers. And these are some quantifiers that we use with plural or count nouns. For example, it says the quantifiers enough, all, no, none, some, any, and both can combine with plural noun and the plural verb. So remember, plural noun, plural verb. Or with a mass noun, or a mass or count noun, que es lo mismo, ¿verdad? You say a mass noun or a count noun, or a countable noun. And the singular verb, ¿sí? So, what happens? If I have these words with plural noun, I will have a plural verb. Look, not enough students, I have a plural noun, are enrolling in writing courses. My verb is plural, ¿sí? No students, dijimos no, ¿verdad? No students have. No puedo decir no students has because I'm talking about plural. Both courses have been popular. Both plural have. And when I use a count noun, there is not enough wine. Este sería no count, sino que un count noun. For example, wine is not countable, right? See, uncountable. So wine is not countable. So if I say there is not enough wine, there are not enough chairs. There are not enough chairs. I use plural verb with plural noun. I use singular verb with singular or uncountable now, ¿Sí? no wine was added to the south. No wine. Wine is no countable, so I use was. No tortillas were served with the lunch. See, ¿Sí? you say no tortillas were served with the lunch. No tortillas. Tortillas plural. My verb will be were. Pero no wine was served with the lunch. Wine is uncountable. The verb will be was. No sé si estamos bien ahí. Yes, yes. No teacher. Recuerden, plural noun, plural verb. Singular noun, singular verb. Correct. Señales de vida? Yes, teacher. Okay. Any questions here? No questions. ¿Estamos bien? Bueno, asumiré que sí. Okay. If we have quantifiers with singular and plural nouns. For example, yesterday we were talking about a majority and a number, see? The expressions a majority and a number are clearly singular. But usted ve A y dice, ah, singular. But when they are used before a plural noun, you should use a plural verb, no singular, see? So if I have a majority, of uh, students, students plural, my verb will be plural. Pero, check, is not the case with the number. So, una cosa es decir a number y otra cosa es decir the number. ¿Sí? If you say the number, you will use singular. Look at the examples. A number of students have 
a number of teachers are. A majority of Finns are. Finns are the people from Finland, right? A majority, a number, a majority, if they are followed by a verb or for a noun in plural, they will take a plural verb. Ya quedamos claros que el verbo sin S está en plural y que el verbo con S está en singular, ¿verdad? But, but if I want to use singular, I use the number, no a number. Cheque. A number is used in plural, a majority is used in plural, aunque usted diga, teacher, pero tiene un A. Pero, if it is followed by a noun in plural, it will become plural, see? But the number, it doesn't matter if it says a number, the number of students, it's going to be singular, see? And look at the other example. A survey among Finnish voters shows that the majority is opposed to the idea of Finland joining NATO. Yeah? The majority. O sea, la mayoría. La mayoría es singular. Una mayoría es plural. Y no traten de ponerlo en español, porque en español, si usted dice una mayoría, es singular y, una, y la mayoría es singular. That's in Spanish. But in English, no. That's a different story. Okay. Any questions? No. ¿Sí? No, teacher. Silencio en la sala. No, no questions. Pregúntenme, porque después me dicen, teacher, yo no había entendido nada. A ver, a ver. No questions. Y esto no es que así todo venga en el examen. Ya ustedes ya vieron la tarea que, que les pusieron. Pero como regla general, Para que usted hable correctamente y escriba correctamente, bien importante que esto lo maneje, ¿verdad? Y sepa cuál es la forma del verbo que usted va a utilizar en cada uno de los casos. Bueno, well, if no questions, look at this. Remember, we said first quantifiers with plurals, right? Sí. The first ones. And then we have singular and plural. So depending on the, depending on what is followed, right? A number or the number. And then we have quantifiers with singular. And here we have every, each, either, and neither can only combine with a singular noun and the singular verb form. Okay? So I have every student, is. Each student is. Either Maria or Pedro is. Okay? But, so, that if we have two students, aquí estoy usando un número, ¿verdad? Entonces, two students were. Pero, each student was questioned after the test. If I use the number, here, two students were suspected of cheating on the test, but each student was questioned after the test. No proof was found that either student was checking either. No proof was found that either student was cheating on the test. Neither student was found to have cheated on the test. And every student in the course was questioned. So if I use these words, I'm going to use my verb in singular. Okay? 
But remember this, the noun has to be singular. Question. Voy haciendo pausita por si usted me dicen, oops, teacher. Ahí ya me perdió. Mm -hmm. No question. Yes, yes, no, no. Okay. Well, here we have, I'm going to show, to share with you about four rules today. Check. Two singular subjects connected by or, either, or, neither, nor, take a singular verb. Example, my aunt or my uncle is, o este o este. That's why it is singular, right? My aunt or my uncle is arriving by train today. Solo va a venir uno, no van a venir los dos. O viene mi tía o mi tío. Right? Neither Juan nor Carmen is available. So, uno o el otro. Juan is available, no los dos. ¿Sí? Either Kiana or Casey is helping today. Solo va a ayudar uno. O Kiana o Casey. ¿Sí? Yeah? So, we have a singular subject. Singular, 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 singular. ¿Sí? But they are connected by either or o neither nor. Ni uno ni el otro. Por ejemplo, if yo, if yo digo, neither my aunt nor my uncle is coming. O sea, no hay ni, ni mi tío ni mi tía. So I take singular noun. Yes? Now, room, rule number two. The verb is either or, neither nor. When they are follow, they have to agree, right? If they are followed by plural or if they are followed by singular. Neither the plates nor the serving bowl goes. ¿Qué sucede aquí? Yo tengo dos subjects. Si yo tengo ni los platos, ni el bowl, va. So it will be singular. Neither the serving bowl nor the plates go. Entonces, el que usted va a tomar como... Eh, Rel, eh, relación con el verbo es el que está más cerca. Is it singular o is it, is it plural como en el primero o is it singular? Right? So, the plates están allá, lejos, but the bowl is near. So, it will take a, a singular verb. But the plates are plural, so it takes a plural Mm -hmm. So look at this sentence. Neither she, my friends, nor I am going to the festival. Esta oración, y por eso dice awkward, está rara. So the best thing for fixing this sentence is saying, neither she, I, nor my friends, en vez de que esté aquí, y aquí vamos a tener un verbo en plural. Esa sería la forma de arreglar esta oración y que ya no quede rara. So, remember, si ve una oración donde están usando either o neither, y un, un noun está en singular y el otro está en plural, el verbo se va a pegar al noun que está más cerca ¿sí? al que está más cerca, ese es el que va a adoptar ok o es sea, más que todo como cultura general para que cuando ustedes vean esta oración no se hace como que mm, pero ¿por qué? 
porque según la regla, según la regla, como este está en plural, no, este está en singular, perdón, el verbo se queda singular. Este está en plural, el verbo queda plural. Porque se va a tomar el que está más cerca del verbo. ¿Ok? Ahora, rule number three. If possible, it's best to reward the, the, the sentence, the one I was telling you. Neither she, I, nor my friends are going to the festival. O, she, my friends, and I are not going to the festival. En este caso, le ponemos an I para que la oración no suene rara. Right? Okay. Now, check this. Ah, bueno, aquí nos fuimos de recre. Hey. Vamos, vamos. Rule number four. Remember, we use a plural verb. Teacher, que no era la tres. No, la anterior era la tres. No, era tres. Teacher. Bueno, sí, ¿verdad? Porque ese es prácticamente de la misma. Ahí póngale tres ustedes. Vaya, as a general rule. So if we have the plural verb with two or more subjects when they are connected by an. Algunas veces nosotros tenemos un sujeto que es plural, ¿verdad? Tenemos más de uno, o sea, tenemos dos o más y están conectados por an. So you have a car and a bike are. En este caso, si yo estoy usando eh, more, eh, two or more subjects when they are connected by an. Y tengo one subject car and the other a bike. Y lo estoy conectando con n. In this case, my verb will be plural. A car and a bike are my means of transportation. Pero check estas exceptions, right? Breaking and entering is against the law. ¿Por qué? Because these are activities. So in this case, esto y esto son contra la ley. Esta y esta. Right? In those sentences, breaking and entering and bed and breakfast are compound nouns. Por ejemplo, cuando usted dice the B and B and B, right? Bed and breakfast was charming. Entonces, no lo tomamos como este caso de que tengo dos subjects unidos por n, porque they, son, they are compound nouns. Remember yesterday, I was telling you that compound nouns are nouns that have two subjects. ¿Sí? Y los complex nouns are nouns that begin with a quantifier and take a longer, longer, longer subject. Right? Is this clear? Yes? So no. If, no? Bye. If I say, for example, Maria and Anna are students in this class. ¿Sí? Maria and Anna are. I'm talking about two subjects. Maria, Anna, and Nubia are students in this class. I'm taking more than one subject joined by an. See? English and math are difficult subjects. English and math. I'm talking about two things. Pero cuando decimos breaking and entering, no es tomado como plural el verbo porque estos son compound nouns. O sea, van juntitos. See, ¿Sí? breaking and entering are. So breaking and entering es como un solo noun. No es tomado como plural. Es un solo noun. Romper y entrar. Romper y entrar es prohibido. Right? O es contra la ley. Y cuando decimos bed and breakfast, Estamos hablando de cuando usted se va por allá, que en vez de ir a quedarse a un hotel, se va a un bed and breakfast. Es singular. ¿Sí? 
no estamos hablando de la cama y el desayuno, ¿verdad? Por eso es que se toma como singular, sino que estamos hablando del lugar donde usted se va a quedar porque no se quiere ir a quedar al hotel. ¿Sí? No sé si ahí eh, me doy a entender. Sí, no. ¿Adriana? ¿Nos puede dar otro ejemplo que no sea de bed and breakfast? Vamos. Porque creo que ahí donde me confundo. Ok. Perdón, teacher, eh, pero de bed and breakfast, ¿cómo se traduciría? Ajá. Sería un solo, un solo nombre, algo así como sí, un hostal. Que es, el, es como el B&B, &B, el B&B que se ocupa mayormente como, como a, con la abbreviation. Y usted dice, ay, ¿dónde te vas a quedar? Ah, me voy a quedar en un B&B. &B. ¿Sí? Entonces, es, no es tan así. Como alojamiento. Sí, como es prácticamente como un hostal. Lo único que en este caso eh, es una aplicación donde usted puede buscar el lugar donde se quiere quedar, en medio de la ciudad, allá en la playa, en la montaña. ¿Verdad? Hay gente que ha preparado su casa justamente para, para eso, para alquilarla a los fines de semana, que llegue un extraño y le pague de cualquier manera y usted solo le entrega la llave y, y se va. En algunos lugares le dan desayuno, en otros no, pero así se llama bed and breakfast, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Los precios andan ahí por los 20, 25 dólares, o sea, es mucho más barato que alojarse eh, en un hotel. That's why you see eh, los mochileros, right? A lot of people that come from outside the country that they, they are looking for these places. And when you travel to another place also, even Guatemala or some other country, you can look for a bed and breakfast. They are eh, special places for you to go and stay the night. In the hostel, you can spend the whole day, you have a swimming pool, you can stay the day and the night, and you pay not $25, you pay more. But in the bed and breakfast, no, you go directly to sleep. The next day you have breakfast, and again you leave. You don't leave your things here because it's not a hotel. Probably the next day another person will arrive there. Yeah? That's the bed and breakfast. Any other question there? Only have a two exceptions. Uh -huh. Two. Two K. Exceptions? Vamos a ver. Ahorita voy a ver yo por otros compound nouns porque serían... Eh, Palabras que se quedan como, como unidas, ¿verdad? Que no se pueden eh, dividir. Por este momento solamente se me ocurren esas dos. Vamos a ver. Uh -huh. Sí, porque esas son unidas por N. Por ejemplo, si you, if you say policeman, boyfriend, water tank, dining table, pero allí se ve claramente que son solamente una palabra. Vamos a ver si hallamos una que vaya. Uh -huh. No. Por el momento. Vamos a ver si nos hallamos otro. Hmm. Peanut butter, ah, aquí hay otra vez. Peanut butter and jelly. No sé si ustedes han oído la canción, sí. Peanut butter and jelly. And I put to the bread y no sé qué. So, peanut butter and jelly is my favorite sandwich. That is another uh, compound subject that is taken as singular. Vamos a ver. Two and equal, uh, two and two equal four. Let's say. Uh-huh. 
no hay muchos compound nouns, fíjense que, 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 que se unan a esta, a esta lista. Because most of the time when you use or when you join, when you join the, the one noun and the other, you're talking about two things. So that's what you have to be careful with. Are you talking about one thing or are you talking about two things? And in this case, when I say a car and a bike, I'm talking about one car and one bike. So I'm talking about two things. Maria and Pedro, I'm talking about two people, right? But breaking and entering, I'm talking about one action. O sea, usted rompió la ventana y se metió, right? So it's only one action. And this is one place only. It's not two. It's one. That's why they are considered compound nouns. Okay? But remember, generally, the rule is that if you have two subjects and you join them with N, my bear will be plural. It doesn't matter if it sounds like singular and singular, but anyway, I have two. Now let's go to the next one. If you remember at the beginning in the quiz that we did, we had a there, right? This word there will be used singular or plural depending on what follows it, see? So those sentences beginning with here or there will be followed by singular or plural noun. And the verb will depend on the noun that, it, that follows there. For example, in the, in the exercise we did at the beginning, we had there are many trees in my neighborhood, right? There are many trees. But if I say there is one tree, only one, my verb will be singular. So here we have there are four. There is a. Here are the keys. Here is the cell phone, right? So if if I have a plural noun, I will have a plural verb. If I have a singular noun, I will have a singular verb because I'm talking about just one thing. That is when using there or here in your sentence. I don't know if you have any question there. With here and there, no problem. Mm -hmm. No teacher. No? Okay. Pacha. And summarizing with all the, the things we mentioned yesterday. <clears throat> Remember, we were talking about the percentages and we said that percentages, you say 50% of the pies, pies have disappeared. A third, a third of the city is, I'm talking about the un tercio de la ciudad. See? But a third of the people, I have people in plural, are. Entonces, que no me lo engañe la A al principio, sino que pay attention to the subject or to the noun that is following this. Okay? All of the pie is. Estoy hablando solo de un pie. All of the pies are. Here I'm talking about more pies, probably two or three. Some of the pie. Hmm. Some of the pie is. Estoy usando some, pero estoy hablando como, hey, ¿qué pasó aquí? Una parte del pie desapareció. Right? Entonces, eh, some of the pie is. But some of the pies are. 
So what we can summarize here is that if you have a singular noun, any word that you're using is followed by a singular noun, you will have a singular verb. If they are followed by a plural noun, you will use a plural verb, okay? That's, that's generally the conclusion that I can get to. Any question? No question? Mm -hmm. Vamos por la attendance ahorita entonces, si no hay preguntitas. And then we will enter to talk about the vocabulary of this lesson. Vamos a ver. Tell me present. Hoy creo que ya somos más, ¿verdad? Adriana Sofía. Present teacher. Ana Alicia. Ana. No está Ana hoy. Ana Grisel. Ana Grisel. David. Present teacher. Diego Batres. No. Edwin Mauricio. Edwin. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Grace Michel. Grace Michel. Ivon Marcela. Mm -hmm. Jennifer Elizabeth. Present teacher. Jessica Lisette. Jessica. José Alberto. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Karen. No, Karen. Carla Lorena. Lisette Dayanara. Present teacher. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Rebeca. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Víctor Manuel. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. José Alfredo. José Alfredo. Me había dicho present al principio, ¿verdad? No. Ok. Bueno, bien poquitos hay hoy. Estará lloviendo en otros lados ahora. Bueno. Aquí por mi casa todavía no, teacher, dejó de llover hace un rato. Verdad, igual aquí donde yo vivo también, ya ahorita ya. Hasta me muestra mi compu que ya colgó la sombrilla. <ríe> yo venía de Santa Tecla y sí estaba lloviendo. Está todo. lloviendo, bastante fuerte todavía. No, está, está suavecito, pero o sea, está como constante, no deja de, de, de caer. Mm. Es que apenitas, apenitas. Uh -huh. En Santa Ana sí está lloviendo. ¿A dónde? En Santa Ana tenemos Santa. Santa. Eh, hora, hora y media más o menos de que está lloviendo. Wow. Sí, es que como que se turna, ¿verdad? Ya estuvo, ya me voló la, la luz a mí un día, hoy se va a arruinar a otra gente. <ríe> anda, anda mudándose esta lluvia. Y aquí estamos hasta en alerta naranja en San Salvador. Por lo mismo, mucho árbol, qué barbaridad. Jamás se habían caído, bueno, de lo que yo recuerdo, una vez que sí se cayeron un montón así de árboles, yo estaba chiquita. O sea, ya hace un 
<laughs> so imagine, and now again, but good that you're here. And let's see if the others are able to connect at least one hour, right? Okay, well, let's continue. Let's continue. So we go with the vocabulary here. Look at the definitions. You have to read carefully. I'm going to send you to the groups for you to work together here. You have to see the different types of tests. Remember since Tuesday, no, since Monday, right? We're talking about tests. So you look for the different, uh, the definition for the different types of tests. We have sight and handling tests, use tests, we mentioned this already, branded tests, the blind test, the monadic method, we already mentioned that one too, the sequential monadic method, and the paired comparisons test, okay? So what you have to do is go carefully look at each of the definitions and match. Go first from the ones that you already know to the ones that are totally new for you. Yes, check the ones you know to the ones that will be completely, completely new. But there we go. I'm going to make groups. No estoy compartiendo. No, verdad? Teacher, estaré de oyente. Oyente. Sí, sí, porfa. Solo, no. ¿Quién más me dijo? David. Yes, teacher, yeah. Okay. Vaya. Pues lo voy a mandar con... En mi teacher, please. ¿Quién es mi? Lisette. Ah, Lisette Dayanara. Lisette. No. Yes. Jessica Lisette. No, Lisette Dayanara. Va, ok. Vaya, muy bien. Así lo mando en trios. Vamos a hacer... Ajá. Vamos a ver, Adriana Marcela. Listening, ¿verdad? Sí. Ja. Y Lisette Dayanara. Vaya, muy bien. Ahí quedan tres. Y ustedes dos para que oigan, David, y me quedan otros tres. Y el último si va de cuatro. Vaya, let's go to the group. Remember, read the definitions carefully and then you match. Okay? And we will come back to check. Check, check, check. Questions? No questions. Va. Vámonos pues. Let's join, mm -hmm. check the invitation. Mm -hmm. I have Jessica Lisette, Rebecca, Adrian. Check if you can join. Nice, nice, nice. Hey, excellent, perfect. You can, one of you can share. Who can share? Somebody, somebody, hello. Todos estamos de oyente aquí en este grupo. I can share. I don't know. Ah, bye. Who will share? Hello. Thank you. This document. Excellent. Vámonos a la next page. Next page. Exactly. Yes, yes. Building vocabulary. Aha. Uh -huh. So you take turns to read and to match. Okay. Sight and handling test. Consumers use or side. Las camaritas se les han arruinado. Fíjense que yo los veo más emocionados cuando se ven. Y las camaritas. 
Eso, thank you, Adriana, Sofía. José Alfredo, hello. José Alfredo. José Alfredo, José Alfredo, hello. No here. Hi, Quizás yeah. solo ustedes están, chicas, solo ustedes dos. Sí. Mm -hmm. Va, go ahead. So, take your turns to read the, the definitions and then you match them, right, with the tests. Okay. okay. I, will I will read the definition first and then. Right, right. Now, uh, the first, uh, the second hundred test is the second definition. Consumer use the product in real circumstances. They use the product, cite it, handle it, and write it later. The second definition. Okay. Is the number one. Okay. Yes. 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 Rosa? I think yes. Brand is this. Que no estaba Rosa Isla con nosotros. Ah, bien, ahí está. Sí, está. Sí. Y David todavía está viviente. No, sí, es, que, es que se me cerró el micrófono, perdón. Y yo ah. I thought you were in the rezo. <risa> no, teacher, no, teacher, no es eso. Me he aguantado. Ok, ok. He resistido. Es que me sentía débil, teacher. Oh. Se oye con eco, vea. Yeah. No, no, no. no, no. no. <risa> <risa> Qué malo. Oh, bueno, me he que caí escribiéndoselo en, en privado y lo hice público yo solito. Bueno. <risa> <risa> Vale, digamos que no, vea. No, no estoy ahí, en serio, no puedo activar la cámara, pero no estoy en el baño. Aquí estoy, pero no es el baño, es mi cuarto. Es la entrada, nada más. No. Vale, entonces, the next, uh, the use test. Use test. I think is the one, the first definition. Is it consumers use or second handed and or one product? Then, then another. Pero que esta me suena como que si fuera la primera side and handling test. Sí, porque dice lo, este cons, consumer use or side and handle one product. Pero okay. ahí está la palabra clave, dice or. Usa o. Mm -hmm. Y en la segunda definición dice que el, el, el cliente usa el producto en real circunstancia. Pero no lo ve. Que casi todo se parece. We already mentioned the first one. We were talking about that on Monday, I think. I don't remember. Okay, hey, use, veamos, bring tax customer are aware. Ah, nombremos la tercera. We are going to na, number the for definition brand is this brand is this is customer are aware of the brand, the brand they are uh -huh. trying this test better reflects the real world experience and the value of the brand mm -hmm. I think it's, it's this number, number three number three okay yes monadic metal Consumer use a product site, site in a handle it, they read it. The, then they use site handle another product and rate and read it. The customer doesn't, does not rate both product against each other. 
This is the number one. The number five definition. The number one. I think. I'm on that one. Use, use a product, cite, cite it, and handle it, and they rate it. But in, in, in uh, let's say, the customer does not rate both products against each other. And that is the monadic method. Okay. It's similar, it's similar. Okay. Uh, because in, in a monadic method, you can you can't uh, compare number uh, uh, with other products. It's only yeah, okay. Okay. This one, no. Teacher, what's that? I have I have a number six. A number, number five. The, um no. But the number six is the number four. The mm -hmm. sixth definition is the number four. Blank test in the the number four, number six is number four. Number six, ya no tres. The six, six definition. The six definition is the number four. Ah, okay. The blind, the blind test. test. This test is a good option when there are significant tactile or visual elements of the product for consumers to experience that. Yes. Mm. Okay. Fair comparison test. Y saben que la teacher se le fue esa 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 diapositiva y no la capturamos. Verdad. Sí, una teacher ya la tiene. Es cierto. Products are tested on brand, so the consumer focus strictly on the product's characteristic <laughs> and not on the brand name. The last one. The last one. <laughs> products are tested on brand. Uh -huh, are tested on brand. That is. Comparison. Teacher, pero esto no está en una página que usted compartió, un documento que usted compartió. No. 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 Pero sí, ya, ya hemos hablado de. We were talking about the site and handling test, the use test. We talked about the monadic method, and we talked about the pair comparison. Okay. De todo okay. Que Ajá. Okay. The number, the third definition is the number two, Alberto. The use test. Yes. Consumers take the product to use it. To be used mm -hmm. okay. either as a sample or for an extended period as they will usually use it in their own home. Mm -hmm. And number two, use test. And then the first definition? Um, the first definition, consumer use or size. And handle. And then one product. Then are asked the to Then finish. another arm, are. Okay. I hate the number seven. We prefer stated comparison test. Yes. Consumer use or site and handle. What? That's that's another. The, the in number Alaska, which... Hi hi. Hi teacher. <laughs> you finished already? No teacher. Um. 
uh, it's a little bit difficult. I know. That's why you have to do it together. Yes, we are um, discussing that all the um, concepts um, tienen similitud, o sea, casi todos. Uh -huh, so, yeah, no. because all of them are tests, right? Yeah. And they have some things in common. But we were already talking about four of them. Just okay. to for you. Can somebody share the presentation? Um, Who can share? Can somebody share? Wait a minute. It's... Ajá, perfect. Perfect. Ay, la perdí. Era la 19. Ajá, that's perfect. No, ahí estaba bien. Sí, pero la moví, teacher, era la 19, creo. 19, 19, 27. Ahí está. Ay. One more. Ahí está. Ahí está, perfecto. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, we are not sure, yeah. but we think that the first concept, um, consumers use or sing and handle one product, then another and are asked to indicate which of the two they prefer. We are discussing that can be monadic method but we are not not sure about it and mm -hmm. just do yes. you remember what is the monadic method um i'm not sure teacher but can i ver um, ah, ya se fue. Ay, oh, no, hasta aquí. When, when you compare that. No estamos leyendo que era, pero. Hola. Ajá. When you compare the one product with another product. What is that? When you compare one product with another product. Monadic method? Are you sure? <laughs> In Nubia, sí, ¿por qué me pregunta? Okay, are um, you sure? <clears throat> es que, bueno, I, I think that one concept, consumer use or sign and handle one product, uh -huh. then another and are asked, asked to indicate which of the two they prefer. How many products do they have there? Two products or, or more. Mm -hmm. And you um, prefer one product. Uh -huh. uh, I can be paired comparison test. Because we are comparing, exactly. of course, we are. Um, exactly, okay. exactly. Remember that the monadic method is the opposite of that one. Um, uh -huh. Remember we were making be consumers that one day. Uh -huh. use, it can be consumers use the product in real circumstances. They use a product, seeing it, handle it, and rate it later. No. Mm -hmm. How many products do we have there? Um, Only one. Just, just one, yes. Uh -huh. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Ya tienen dos buenas, you see. Oh, <laughs> it was 
difficult teacher. I know, I know. Pero así, little by little, analyzing what you know para que lo que saben la lleve a lo que no saben. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Vaya, la dejo un ratito. I'm going to go check. Okay. Si okay, pudieran you, escribir aquí sería fantástico, ¿eh? Para que vayan completando. No sé si le, le da yeah. su PDF para escribir. Ah, sí, creo que Esto. sí. Sí, nice, nice. Ok, acá sería um, cinco, creo. Sí. Ay, no, no puedo escribir. ¿Cómo no? Ay, mire qué bonita hago yo mi letra. Ah, <risa> primero dijimos que era. Seven, a fair a comparison test. Ah, ajá, exactly, exactly. <laughs> es que me, me tapa esto, no sé cómo quitar. Ah, okay. oh, you finished. Vamos a ver. I'm going to check which are and which are not correct. A ver, a ver. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Yeah, good. Good, good. Yes, so you did it. Very good. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Great. I'm just going to check one more group and then I call you back. A ver, a ver. Creemos que así es, teacher. Creemos. Ok, vamos a ver. Oh. Espérenme que no me quito. Mm -hmm. Check it out, teacher. Vaya, I will change the second. Mm -hmm. so it's wrong the last one last one the last three ese está bueno the second and the last one the last three donde pusieron one, five, four and six mm -mm. one Espérense. one, five, four and six the last three, since the five to seven. Uno, cuatro, cinco y seis tenemos mal, but. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. Exactly. exactly. Oh, okay. sí. Seven is correct, three is correct, and three, two. Okay. Okay. Ah, pues tenía bien la corazonada, Alberto, que la siete que sí. esa era. Sí. Esa la tenía seguro yo. <risa> bueno, voy a borrar Entonces, para que no, no. Entonces, the number two is the last one. The last three. Four, six, five. Justice is a product are tested on branded. Four, five, six, dijo la teacher. Me estoy borrando bien, ¿verdad? No me equivoqué, sí. me van a matar los compañeros. <risa> ¿Por qué? Ah, ¿Por no, ¿verdad? Sí, es cierto, es cierto. <risa> ok, comencemos. Entonces, no, la dos está bien y la tres también, ¿verdad? Yes. La uno, la uno es, ¿sabe quién es Andrew? Sanjo. Ese ya lo estuvimos hablando en clase. The number one on this this time or this case going to be uh, the number at uh, the six definition, five definition, sorry. Consumer, use of products, side, side, and handle, they rate it. The, then they use side, handle another product, and rate it. The customer doesn't rate both products against each other. This is the um, methodic and monadic, none of us. This is the 
Sería sign and handling test. Sign and handling test. Number one. Sí, ya no tengo chance de seguir borrando en el libro, así que no me voy a morir. Ya lo taché la todo. Lápiz. Yo, la pen. Pen. Ajá. Yo, no, yo no uso lápiz porque yo no me equivoco. Oh. Ahí <risa> se de se. Ah. Okay. Después no se va a entender nada cuando quiere estudiar. Sí, es cierto. Ay, no. Quiero ver. Entonces. Uh, number. Number four. Number four. Blind test. Blind test. What is blind? I don't know. Blind. Without view? Without view, teacher? Blind? Blind. Ah, uh -huh. Without view. I cannot see, right? Uh -huh. That I cannot see. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, the number one is the sex definition. What? What? This test is a good option when there are significant tactile, tactile to handling or visual Visual is high side element to the of the product for consumer to experience. That's the number one. Uh -huh. That's its definition. Yeah, teacher. <laughs> I just got I was just watching, but yeah, now you know. <laughs> <laughs> Number two. Number two. Now, sí, yes. Porque manejo sería como táctil también, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. You handle, you touch it, right? Uh -huh. Yo sigo pensando que el monadic method es la misma que teníamos. Ah, no, pero digo la teacher que no es. Monadic method, uh, I think customer use a product sign in the handling in the Rate it, they, then they, no sé, pienso que está en orden. I'm going to give you one more minute and then I take you out. Maybe later. En cuatro, cinco y seis. Number four. Okay, the number four will be the last products are tested on brand and brand. So the consumer focus on strictly on the products characteristics and not on Hi Catherine Karen Señorita Karen Hola, Ale. Hágame un favorcito. Hey, ya la oigo mejor. Hágame un favorcito. Sí. Póngase Dígame. un nombre completo que solo le aparece Karen Barriento. Qué raro. Déjame ver. Ok, very good. Faltan six people. Bien. Teacher, no sé cómo ponerlo todo. En teoría me daba todo siempre. Vaya, ahí dele clic. Si se ubica en su foto, dele clic en los tres puntitos que aparecen cuando usted se ubica sobre usted. 
Ahí hay tres puntitos. Si le da clic ahí encima, le va a dar las opciones de silenciar, de tener video, chat, anclaje. Y más abajo dice cambiar nombre. Fíjese que estoy desde el celular y solo me sale silenciar, detener video, participantes y en los tres puntitos Ajá. me sale chat, configuración de la reunión, pizarra. No sé qué. Ah, vaya, vaya, espere. Si no me voy a salir de la reunión y voy a volver a entrar. No, ya se la pongo. Karen y Stephanie. Sí. Me parece raro porque en teoría ya... Normalmente me meto y te aparece mi nombre. Ajá. Pero sí, de repente pone loco. Flores. Vaya, Karen. Thank you, teacher. Vaya, vamos a ver. Eh, ready. Everybody here. Yes, yes. Yes, ¿verdad? How many people are here? Ah, oh, perfect. Vaya. A ver, I'm going to read the definition and then you tell me the type of test that it is. Consumers use or cite and handle one product, then another, and are asked to indicate which of the two they prefer. Pair test. comparison pair. test. Mm -hmm. Pair and comparison test. Because first I have one product and then I have another product, right? So I have two products and then I have to choose and I have to mention which of the two I prefer. So I am comparing. Yes. Okay, what about the next test? Consumers use the product in real circumstances. They use a product, cite it, handle it, and rate it later. Which one? Which test is that one? Okay. We reply the num with the number five. Mm -hmm. Yes. But remember, yeah, remember we said on Monday that this uh, monadic method is when you cite and handle and evaluate one product or test one product isolated. Isolated means alone. And it is the opposite of the pair comparison test because in the pair comparison test, I have two, of, uh, two products and I'm comparing one product with the other, right? But in the nomadic method, I have only one product. I test the product, I do whatever with the product, right? I can see it, I touch it, I handle it, but it's only one product, it's isolated, not together with another product. I'm not comparing it. I'm just uh, checking, for example, if I say, okay, I'm going to evaluate to test this cap. I can put something cold on it, something hot. And I, at the end, I rate it. So, okay, say, hmm. I really like the color. It is good for using with hot things, with cold things. So if I have from one to five, I'm going to give it five stars. That's when you rate something, right? But in the previous one, in the, comp in the paired uh, comparison test, that is the opposite, you don't even, you don't rate it. You only compare one with the other. So it's like if I have two caps to say something, right? And I say which I like and which I don't like and why. 
which cup do you prefer? This one or the other one? But you say why? Yes? So they are opposites. Now, what about the next one? Consumers take the product to be used either as a sample or for an extended period as they would usually use it in their own home. Remember the example I gave you of what women want, the movie. Do you remember? What myth, oh, what test is that? Mm -hmm. Juices, juice test. Test that the use test, yes. In the use test, I get the, the sample, I take it home, I use it as I wish, right? I use the product to see how it works, but I use it, check, for an extended period. Not just once, at least a week or two to see how the product works, right? That is the use test. Now, what about the next one? Consumers are aware of the brand they are trying. This test better reflects the real world experience and the value of the brand. Brand, brand test. test. Mm -hmm. Branded test. For example, if you say, bueno, a mí me gusta el café Musum. I'm aware of the brand that they am trying, right? I'm going to give you a sample of coffee. Okay, what coffee are you giving me? You say, ah, café rico. It's like, um, okay, okay, no thanks. If you don't like it, right? But if they tell you, I'm going to give you, okay, mm, un Juan Valdez, and then you say, yes, can you give me two? I want to give one to my sister so she can try to, okay? So that you are aware of the brand. So you know the brand, right, that you're using. And this test better reflects the real world experience and the value of the brand. So I'm taking, I'm paying attention to the brand. And if I like it, I use it. Or if no, no. For example, when you go buying ham, there are a couple of brands that I never try. And when they say, would you like some? What brand is it? And they tell me the brand and I say like, mm, no thanks. Right? No thanks. But if it is a brand that I use or that I like, I say, okay, thank you. And I try it. Right? Because I am aware of the brand that I use, okay? And in this type of test, when you are testing the product, you know what brand you're trying. Now, let's see the next one. Consumers use a product, cite it, and handle it, yeah? They rate it, then they use it. Cite and handle another product and rate it. So first they have one product and then they go do the same with another product. The consumer does not rate both products against each other. So you raise, you take this product, you rate it, you cite it, handle it, and then you rate this one, and then you go for the next product, you cite it, you handle it, and you rate it. But no one against the other, like in the pair comparison, right? In the pair and comparison test, I'm comparing one product with the other, against the other. But in this one, no. What test is this one? Sequential monadic sequential method. Monadic mm -hmm. method. Exactly. That's the sequential monadic method. So, I test one product isolated, 
I rate it and then I go for another, right? I cite it, handle it, rate it, and I can continue with another and another product. My job is to test products. So the method I use is sequential and non -added, but I'm not comparing one, one product with the other because they can be totally different, right? Okay, what about the next one? This test is a good option when there are significant tactile or visual elements of the product for consumers to experience. For example, you want to test a cell phone or a computer. What test is that one? Sign and handle test. Mm -hmm. Sight mm -hmm. and handle, yeah. Tactile, handling. Visual, sight, yes. So you have tactile, or visual elements of the product for consumers to experience. So you want to test a cell phone, you want to test a tactile computer or a tablet or an iPhone. In that case, you use that test. Remember, we choose the type of test depending on the product that we are testing, right? And the last one, products are tested and branded so the consumer focuses strictly on the product's characteristics and not on the brand. What test is this? Blind right. test. Blind. This test is opposite to the branded test. In the branded test, I'm focusing on the brand. And if it is not the brand I prefer or I use, I don't want to test it, right? But if I'm using the blind test, I'm not paying attention, I'm not influenced by the brand. I'm influenced by the characteristics of the product, yeah? Any question there? Questions. Perfect, Raya. Now, what you're going to you to do? <laughs> I'm going to, to remember the product that you were creating. Aya, ya ratos. In the in the beginning of unit number one, when you were thinking about a product, see, sí, you remember. Yes, no, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Vaya, perfect. I'm going to send you, uh, again, we're going to make the groups, the original ones, right? I hope you remember who you were working with. Because I don't remember, but I hope you do. What you're going to do there is retake the new product idea your group presented in unit one, then discuss two testing strategies to fit the characteristics of the product according to the product that you're presenting. Which are the best two tests that you can use to test your product? And then brainstorm the advantages of, the te of testing the product using the strategies the group have selected. <laughs> has selected. Decide on the best strategy to test the new product. Okay? So, vamos a cambiar. Hablando de subject verb agreement, ¿verdad? Bye. Okay. Questions? No questions. Bye. Vámonos, pues. Ya le tomaron capturita, ¿verdad? Para ver lo que van a ir a hacer. So, choose to test, to evaluate uh, your product. Write a couple of advantages of the testing of their product. And 
decide on the best strategy to test it. Gotcha. I'm going to make it like, um, permitir que los participantes seleccionan su propia sala. Vamos a hacer, ¿cuántos grupos eran? Cinco, ¿verdad? Sí. Vaya. A ver. Eh, José Alberto, do you remember your partners? Yo estaba con Elmer. ¿Con quién? José Elmer. Alfredo y Elmer. Elmer. Ajá. ¿Y quién más? Y José Alfredo. Uy, ninguno está. Ajá. Qué triste. Vaya, lo vamos a andar solito ahorita y ya vamos a ver a quién más le mandamos hoy. A ver, Rebeca, do you remember your partners? Yes, Nubia and Victor. Nubia and Victor. Nubia. Y creo que también Lice Dayanara. Lice Dayanara se acuerda. Y ese es el grupo con el que estuvimos hace poquito. No, este es el grupo con el que crearon un producto la, en la unidad 1. Uh, no me acuerdo. <risa> Bye. Vamos a ver, quiero ver Jennifer, Elizabeth, ¿se acuerda? Con... Bueno, teacher, pero es que no fue en la unidad 1. ¿Ah? No fue en la unidad 1, en esta unidad. Porque este. yo aquí tengo, sí, en esta unidad. Ah, aquí lo tengo. De esta unidad, ¿verdad? Ajá, correcto. Ah, va. Vaya, vamos a ver. Adriana, ¿cuál es tu partner? Adriana, Marcela y Ana Alicia. Ana, hoy no está. Bueno, Adriana, Marcela, sí. Ana no está hoy. Eh, Elda Cristina, do you remember your partners? Elda. No recuerdo si era Jessica o Jennifer, estoy confundida. Jennifer, do you remember? Eh, Ivo, con... Ivón. Ajá, Ivo, sí. ¿Con quién iba Jennifer? Con Ivón y con... Eh... Sí, con él, la Cristina, creo que iba. Ah, vaya. Uh -huh. no, solo éramos tres, creo. Sí, solo eran tres. Vaya, ok. Eh, Karen y Stephanie. Karen, Yo me recuerdo que cuando hicimos lo del producto, más o menos, iba con Rosa. Rosa Hilda. Yes, teacher. Vaya. ¿Quién más iba con ustedes? Grace, Michelle y David. Ok. Vaya. Y Diego, Jessica y Lisette, ¿no se acuerdan con quién iban? No. Se lo voy a regalar entonces a José Alfred, Alberto para que José Alberto no esté solito. Bye, there we go. Try to join. Remember that the first thing you have to do is uh, refresh the product, right? What the product was. And then yes. you choose for the best test to, to test. <laughs> right. 
the best, the best, the best test for your product. What was your product? Do you have the notes? Yeah, our product was um, sport classes for the World Cup. Okay. Yes. It was a service. Was a service. It was a service. Okay. It was a service. Perfect. So the, I think the best test could be um, uh, we have to choose only one test or, or, or can be two tests or just one? You will choose two. Okay. In, in our case, could be uh, science, science and home and use test. Okay. And then you can discuss about the advantages and disadvantages, right? Of the product. Okay. Or the service that you have. Advantages and disadvantages. Advantages and disadvantages. A couple, you don't need to write a lot. Two, three disadvantages and two, three advantages. Okay. Hi, girl. I am sharing my screen. Can you see something? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, this this was our uh, brainstorming the the first unit, and was the second the sport classes for the World Cups. So uh, we are going to to discuss disadvantages. And this advantage about the um, site and handling text. Handling test. Okay, advantage. And this advantage. Mm -hmm. Verify the raw material, raw material, for example, the... Okay. The... Advantage, okay, the consumer can touch. The consumer can, can touch. Side. The product. Can scan what size? Can see. Can see, okay, thank you. Can see size, styles, uh, material. The size, inner designs. Yeah, last design. Or final, last or final, what is? Final. Final design. Design. Yes. Mm. Okay. Um, okay. Consumer can touch sign the, inside the product. can see size, styles, material, and final design. What else? What else, what else? Uh, the price. Um, is um, in, in this test, 
Mm. I can, I, I think that is, that is not. Capacitación. Entonces. Hi, teacher. Hi, hi teacher. Hi. What's your product? We are discussing because uh, we have, we don't have product. Mm. We have a we, service. A service. Ah, it's mm -hmm. okay. But what test can you use to, to test your service? I consider the kid that we could use the use test. But with some modifications, because it says that you have to use it every day, but we think that we can use it a, by periods of time, a, by a schedule, because it's a service and you need to verify the way that people uh, receive the service and you need to evaluate the kind of service and how to uh, get better, sería mejorar. Mm -hmm. Improve. 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 To improve uh, the, the service. So that so, we use test. You, use uh -huh. test. No ha, no sight and handle. No, because it's a it's a therapy. So it's we can therapy. we can um use the service mm -hmm. for an for uh, for a period mm -hmm. uh, as the as the children's go to the school normally but just one afternoon mm -hmm. at the week mm -hmm. so they so we can see how they um, develop uh -huh. how they can improve the, the whatever they are taking the beh behave behavior okay behavior uh-huh uh -huh. okay yeah. Yes. How much they improve their behavior or how they play or relation with with other kids. Yeah, the kids. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. well, okay, you have to choose two tests. You have one, the use test, which will be another uh, test that you could use to, to test your product or your service. Mm. I don't know because... <laughs> As it is a, a service, we cannot use sight and handling tests. No, no. Mm -hmm. a branded tests, either because there is no another brand with the service. Mm -hmm. A blind test, um, either. Uh -huh. A monadic method. Could be, I think so, because it's only a service that you're gonna evaluate. Mm -hmm. Or no, I don't know. Yes, it could, could be. Uh -huh, yes, because the monadic method is the customer use, in this case, the service in real circumstances. Mm -hmm. They they use a service. At the rate it at the end. Uh -huh, okay. Mm -hmm. It could be monadic method too. And Mm -hmm. Pair comparison test, no. Mm -mm. Why and not? Because we we don't have another service. Mm. But or, you compare, or maybe we can compare with a normal education. No, because it's not the same service. With another uh, institution offering the same service. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we need to make a, a studio. <laughs> yes. okay. We are innovating. <laughs> okay. okay, now which would be the advantages and which would be the disadvantages? The advantage uh, could be the inclusion uh, for the families and the kids. And the disadvantage, it could be uh, the way that people can receive this kind of service because it's new and people sometimes when uh, have different 
its uh, opportunities uh, can un miedo al cambio Ch uh, they are afraid of afraid the change uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay perfect I leave you for you to finish with the discussion and then I take you out okay Hi, hi. Hello, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hello. How are you doing? Uh, we're good. We um, we're discuss we... about the brainstorm. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Advantage. Advantages and disadvantages of the test. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Two minutes and I take you out, okay? Okay, teacher, thank okay. you. Welcome. Even in the pharmaceutical sector, eh, sería así como sin amarrarle la compra en un punto de venta. ¿ver? No, acordate que en la primera que te mencioné es como para mostrar tu producto o vender tu producto, pero a los distribuidores. What's your product? Is the vitamin. 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 Okay. Yes. What, what test are you going to use to, to test it? Okay. Cool. Sample okay. and promotion at events in the pharmaceutical sector? No, the test. The test. Uh, Remember what you, the what you mean the test? test? Remember the seven tests? we were just talking about on the the fourth reason for example no which one david the fourth reason for for example okay go down david in the page remember today we have been discussing about seven tests right Mm. The handle test, the use test, the monadic method. Yes. Uh huh. So, mm. which will be the best to test to test your product? Mm. Is the mm. maybe monadic test? Mm -hmm. what, what is your product? Is yes, vitamin only one kit? Oh, the vitamins. Yes, okay. vitamin only okay. one kit. Ah, kit different, uh, different parts or different component, components. Different components. Yes. Okay. So what would be the advantages and what would be the disadvantages of using the monadic method to test your product? There you're talking about the advantages of the test, not the advantages of the product. Mm. One moment, teacher. Uh... Maybe no monadic test and tons. Why not? Uh, because uh, our product mm -hmm. is the lo que queremos es dar a conocer la la eficacia de nuestro producto, no lo económico. Ah, but no problem. You can uh, cite it, handle it, use it and then rate it alone. Or you can use, for example, if we talk about TV offer, TV offer use the paired, mona, uh, the paired method, right? Because they are always comparing the product with another product that they sell. So they have the, the 
the pair comparison because they are they say okay this product is better than the other one so you can use that method or that that test with your product too you can compare those vitamins with other vitamins that already exist in the market or that you also sell okay yeah. the com the compare uh, compare the our product the vitamins with other mm. vitamins that you sell when, for example the vitamins pajarito mm -hmm. yes <laughs> okay yes or um, for example telling what advantages this product has against other products like this one is going to give you more energy. It can be used for people who are diabetic. It can be, a, you, you can use it in children. So it is for all the family. Then, you, but the other one we had before was only for people who have no illnesses at all. So you can be comparing this product with the other one. So like that, you can use the pair comparison test, right? Or you can go for the use test and use it for a month and tell me how you feel, right? So what are the advantages of using one test or the other when talking about your product? Understand, Rose? But I'm going to take you out in a minute. Let me see who's the number eight. Okay. Passion. Almost back, almost everybody. Hmm. Buy a check. For tomorrow, I know you were very excited, right? Thinking about the price or thinking about the, 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 the test that you can use to test your product tomorrow. At the beginning of the class, you design someone or, or you assign somebody in your group who will share with the class tomorrow, okay? That you will tell me which are the tests that you're going to use and which are the advantages and the disadvantages of using those tests and which is the best strategy for testing your product. Okay, or service, because I know some of you have service, not a product, right? Okay, let's see. Let's go for the attendance. This is the last of the day and be ready to check with us tomorrow. Let's see. Uh, Adriana, Sofia. Present. Nice. Anna, not here today. Anna Grisel, either. Uh, David, Alexander. Present teacher. Diego Batres. Edwin Mauricio. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Grace Michelle. No Grace today, right? Yvonne Marcela. Jennifer Elizabeth. Present teacher. Jessica Lisette. Jessica, Jessica, no Jessica. No, ¿verdad? Hoy no entró Jessica. No sé. No. Ok. José Alberto. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Carla Lorena. Lisette Dayanara. Present teacher. 
eh, Nubia Suleima. Present teacher. Okay. Rebeca Marcela. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Víctor Manuel. Present teacher. Okay. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Vaya. Ok, bueno. See you tomorrow. Have a nice day. Well, a nice Thank day. you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, Bye. teacher. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye.